Celebrate the birth of a new king! Hello Rider fans! The very first toy catalogue for Kamen Rider Zio has just surfaced on the internet giving us more information about Zio, his henshin items and the secondary rider, Gates. So let's get right into it. First, the driver that Zio will be using will be called the Jiku driver which literally translates to the space-time driver, perfectly fitting the themes of the show. His henshin items will be called the Ride Watchers which is very close to the guess I made the other day. They'll start off looking like this, so first you have to rotate them in order to make them look like the rider's face. Then you press the button on top to make the Ride Watch light up and give a sound effect. For the Zio Ride Watch, it will say, Zio Rider Time! Then when you insert the right watch into the right side of the Jiku driver, I believe it displays the year that the Rider series started. Then you transform by rotating the entire belt one full round. Here's a look at the other Rider we've been wondering about so far and confirmation that he is a secondary Rider called Kamen Rider Gates. On his right you can see the Gates right watch and it is confirmed that Kamen Rider Gates will appear together with Zio from the start of the series. Next, just as I hypothesized in my previous video, Zio will access his Legend Rider forms by putting the Legend Ride Watchers into the left side of the Jiku driver. This Legend Rider transformation is actually called Armor Time and the different forms are called Armors. So here we have Zio's Build Armor form, his Exit Armor form and then we have Gate's Ghost Armor form and Drive Armor form. Next, we have some miniature Gashapon versions of Zio's gear. Take note that these are not the deluxe versions. On the left, we have the Jiku driver, receiving confirmation that the driver can actually rotate completely. And on the right, we have Zio's primary weapon, the Jikan Grade or the Time Grade. And it looks like the weapon will have letters on it as well to depict which mode it's actually in. In Sword mode, it will have the word Ken, which means sword in Japanese. And in Gun mode, it has the word Ju, which is Japanese for gun. It seems that the Jikan Grade will have a slot for insertion of right watchers for power-ups as well. So these are just some Gashapon blow-up versions of Zio's gear and some of his weapons when he is in his armor forms. The weapons of his armor forms aren't given any particular names. If you look at the labels at the bottom, they actually just say Kamen Rider Zio Build Armor Weapon and Kamen Rider Zio Exit Armor Weapon. Now we have a look at the first lineup of the Sound Ride Watch series. Of course, these will be made in the correct size so you can use them for the deluxe items as well. Nothing new here, we have Zero Build and Ghost which we've already seen. The three ones that are not shown are just metallic versions of the three Ride Watchers. But just for some additional information, it looks like these Sound Ride Watchers will have a button at the back which allows you to change between two modes. Mode 2 is the mode that you switch to when you want to use it together with the Deluxe Jiku driver. And in Mode 1, you can press the button in order to hear the Ride Watcher's name, press it a second time to hear an explanation of the rider, press it a third time to hear the rider time sound, and press it a fourth time in order to hear the rider's finisher. So it's cool that they are adding this sort of additional playability to the Sound Ride Watch series. I do not know if the Deluxe Ride Watchers will have the same gimmick. Here we have the lineup for the second release of the series, but it features everything we know already, just Gates Drive and another release of Zio's Ride Watch. Here we have a look at a Gashapon for keychains that have the Ride Watch designs, which actually reveals Ride Watchers for Forze, Fies, O's, and even Genmu. Now before you guys get overly excited and hyped over the fact that even non-main riders are going to get armor time forms, I want you guys to just chill out for a moment because we are going to soon take a look at an image which seems to suggest that these non-main ride watchers will actually not be used in the show to access armor time forms. Here we have the third lineup for the Sound Ride Watch series featuring Exate, Ryuki, Brave and even Rue. So we will probably be seeing the Ryuki armor time form as Zio's next armor form after Exate. However, I just want to point out this little symbol at the bottom right of both Brave and Rook. It actually reads Gashapon Original. What seems to suggest that these Ride Watchers are only obtainable through Gashapon and they won't be available as Deluxe Toys. Which means if they are not going to be Deluxe Ride Watchers, Zio will probably not be using them in the show. So even though they will be released like for fans to collect as like additional Ride Watchers, they probably don't have armor time forms for Zio to use in the actual show. Similarly, here's the 4th Sound Ride Watch series featuring Forze, Fies, Mech and Meteor. Just like the previous lineup, Mech and Meteor have the Gashapon original marks next to their Ride Watchers, so I think this seems to suggest that the secondary riders actually won't be having much of an appearance in Zio as armor time forms at least. Which is a shame because I would have really liked to see greater involvement of the secondary riders in this anniversary series. 
However, this series is supposed to commemorate the Heisei era as a whole, so they probably already have their hands full with the main 19 Heisei riders. So I guess it's no surprise that the secondary riders aren't getting much action. And to end off, we just have a small look at the deluxe Jiku driver which comes with the Zio Ride Watch. So what do you guys think about the Zio information so far? I have to say that I am super hyped! about everything I have just seen, everything I have just read and I can't wait to see the Ryuki and Fai's armor time forms for Zio and Gate. Although I have to admit that I am quite disappointed about the evidence which seems to suggest that the riders will actually not be getting armor time forms for the secondary Heisei riders. So that will be all for this coverage of the first Zio toy catalogue. Make sure to keep an eye out because we will definitely be getting even more Zio information soon and by the end of this month we should probably have a good idea of what the story is going to revolve around. Hope you all enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next Kamen Rider video.